a new AI model just dropped from Google. It is called Gemini 3. It is Google's latest upgrade, which is capable of better tool use, sharper thinking, and also handling way more complex multi-step tasks than before. Now, Google didn't make a big announcement about this. They quietly released it to the public. Not everyone has access to this. You only get access to it by chance. So all you have to do is just come to Google AI Studio, and when you are here, you can click on Gemini 2.0. 5 Pro, make sure it is the one that is selected here amongst the list of the models. Then down here, you can give it a prompt. When you get two responses for this prompt, then it is Gemini, it is Gemini 3.0 that has responded to you. If you just get one response card, then it's just 2.5 Pro that is responding to your prompt. So here you can just keep on running this until you get two cards of the responses then you know response is coming from the gemini 3.0 this is a secretly being tested by google uh, and uh, it is uh, dropping anytime soon from now to the public it is pretty good a lot of people are saying good things about it the people who've tested it they're saying it's pretty good it's powerful it's able to generate so many different powerful things you can generate a new wild looking simulations of games websites etc there are a lot of things that these people were able to generate right someone prompted it some people have built a mini craft simulation with it it looks pretty good look at this everything looks realistic just like uh, you know the real game like you can build things with it you can also do whatever you want with it everything works everything looks good can play it you can do whatever you want you can do so many different things like it's very capable of doing so many different things you can generate the svg of robot you can generate svgs of you can generate an svg of a robot right so this one is capable of doing all these things that you are seeing here Can generate an SVG of a robot, right? So this one is capable of doing all these things that you are seeing here: the shoulders, the elbows, you know, the head, the tilt. You can do whatever you want with it. It's pretty good. It's powerful. You can generate realistic, good-looking SVGs. Like for instance, this Xbox 360 controller. It looks good, right? The Xbox 360 controller. It looks realistic. It looks clean, or sharp, and on point. Right, so the new version of Gemini 3.0, the one that is secretly rolling behind the scenes, it is capable of actually generating visualizations like this the exoplanet core. Right, it is capable of generating the exoplanet core visualization. These are things that these other AI models are not able to do. It is able to build realistic, good looking uh, visualizations. There are two types of people right now those who are learning these ai coding tools and shipping products faster and also those who are still paying hundreds of dollars a month for closed models wondering why their budget keeps shrinking we're choosing to be in the first group just a quick note i'm upgrading my recording setup so you can see these coding demos even more clearly if you want to support creative ink academy there's a link in the description every bit helps in bringing you sharper and clear tutorials an ai model that is capable of building all uh, and such kinds of powerful visualization is pretty good. So, so my own opinion, Gemini 3.3 is a pretty good. It's powerful. It's awesome. Someone was able to build this with it. It looks realistic. It looks on point. It looks clean. This is powerful. And also, someone was able to generate uh, this beautiful, good-looking universe uh, simulation. And this is cool like it's just amazing it's wonderful all these beautiful good looking generations people are getting with this model it's a pretty cool it is going to be one of the best 
AI models currently in the world, right? Capable of generating the hexagon physics simulation, which is pretty cool, which is powerful. So yeah, this is not a simple model. This is a powerful model. It is able to generate so many different powerful things. The world simulation here, as you can see, you can rotate it, you can zoom in, you can do whatever you want with this. Like it is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. It is awesome. It is cool. So I want you to tell me what you think of it in the comments if you've seen all these uh, powerful things it is able to build tell me what you think about it in the comments otherwise i want you to subscribe to this channel we are building a community of developers who stay ahead of the curve with ai tools that actually deliver results without breaking the bank thank you for watching creative ink academy and i'll see you in the next video